the connection was poor and I really couldn't find anywhere to uh, work. Uh, this guy went and but, seen uh, Stephen today yeah, in no, jail. Uh, I didn't record your call. I wanted to give you guys an opportunity oh. to ask some questions about how the visit went. And um, maybe what we talked about. Um, things like that. Sorry about that, guys. I don't believe Stephen has written Brendan any time lately, but I don't know if he's written him at all in the past. Usually um, when uh, in a crime, when there's two offenders and they're involved in the crime, even though they didn't do this crime, but the usual rule is that uh, you can't have contact with those people. That's what I've been told, at least. I was the only visitor today with Stephen's court. Stephen does not dislike Brenton, no, not at all. He misses his nephew. He told me that they, they used to work on cars and he used to learn from him all the time. So he definitely misses his nephew. No negative tension there whatsoever. Yes, I said, um, Stephen's very confident in his exoneration. He's doing fantastic. It's actually very relieving to see how happy he is and confident he is. It makes me confident and happy as well. He's, he's very um, he's very happy from all the support he's gotten. He reads the letters. He, trust me, if you haven't gotten a response from him, I promise you Stephen has read your letter. His health is great. He looks the same, honestly, in my opinion. Maybe a little bit older, but still same old Stephen Avery. He is safe, yes. Um, not a lot about the case. I mean, just that um, Kathleen's very confident and uh, just the people that they think did this crime. Well. I'm not worried at all. He's being too optimistic. He, he is. Uh, um, he is to be optimistic for a reason, because Kathleen is a is very optimistic. So um, Stephen has done every possible thing to prove his innocence: DNA tests, saliva tests, everything. He's an innocent man, and I can. I already felt it before, but sitting down with him and talking to him over and over. Um, you just know in your heart when somebody's telling the truth, and he's definitely telling the truth. I have not spoken with Kathleen, but um, I plan to soon. He does believe that uh, Kathleen has the tools to exonerate him. He does have his opinion who uh, committed this crime, but I'll I'll let uh, Zellner um, prove that to the courts on that one. I I have a feeling that the DNA is going to prove his innocence. Um, as well as uh, those phone records that shows that Kathleen made uh, phone calls far off his property while he was making phone calls to Jody at his own home. He had a Heath ice cream bar. Um, Rick, I'm not sure if we'll be able to record the Jerry um, and Dean event because that would stop them from being able to make money for uh, future events so I don't think so great great question he's very excited um, um, to building relationships with his not only his twin boys but all of his children he's very excited and um, that 
made me happy, knowing that uh, this man who's robbed of his fatherhood, I asked him that. Obviously, I knew the answer. I said, do, um, do you feel you were robbed of your fatherhood? He said, no, I was actually robbed of actually being a human being, not just my fatherhood. I was robbed of everything. And he's so right. He's so right. He's robbed of 30 years. It's, it's hard to fathom. But he did say he wants to have a relationship with all his kids. And he wants them to be a part of the future in, in, in his life, which are, it's going to be great things, everybody. Trust me on that. He did hear about the interview with his twins. He's super upset with Jody. I just think she's a foolish woman, and I don't think he lets it bother him too much. Obviously, the things she said are just foolish and um, should just be discredited. Steven has a pretty positive attitude. I don't know how angry he gets. Um, I'm sure he was angry at the beginning, but Steven is the kind of man that just uh, stays motivated, very motivated. Not quitting, not laying down and dying and taking this corrupt um, imprisonment, and he just keeps going and fighting. I asked him, how do you do it? I couldn't do it, I told him. I looked him right in his eyes and said, I couldn't do it. You're so strong. Please let me know how you do it. And he just said, you just got to keep fighting. You just got to keep going. Because if you don't keep fighting and keep going, this stuff's going to continue to happen. So Stephen's well aware that he's, he's helping more than just himself in this situation. He's, he's helping everybody across America. He's, he's exposing our justice system for what it is. No, he will not stay in Manitowoc when he gets out. The Avery Salvage Yard is still in business. He's not concerned about his safety at, at this time in prison. Yes, he's making a huge difference. Well, I, I hope to be as, uh, well, we're already friends at this point, and uh, I'll just be the kind of guy there to definitely look out for him in the future, that's for sure. A great friend. I do believe he will stand up against corruption long after this. He has that mentality, and uh, he has it in his heart. This man has a heart of gold. What is he like? He's just an, uh, uh, a really high-spirited man. Just very happy. What he, he just wants the supporters to stay positive. I mean, just keep doing what we're doing. It's it's obviously uh, it's been been a good thing since the documentary. He says that he's going to move and that he's going to start a new life and um, hopefully stay involved in vehicles. He says he's got to work on cars. He says that's just something he has to do. It's part of him. It's in his blood. And that that was really awesome to hear. i got to be honest with you guys. Um, this man, he... He likes, he likes to do a nice days of hard work, you know, and he enjoyed working on the salvage yard, and that's what he loved to do, and they took him from that, and he plans just to get right back to it, not skip a beat. He's true to what he loves and enjoys. Exactly. Stay true to his roots. And he's going to, um, obviously catch up with his family and stuff, and... 
His parents are going to give their son back eventually here, and it's a beautiful thing. Great people. It's a great family. We talked about the case a little bit, but, you know, that's Zellner's job to discuss that. She's the... the one that handles all that stuff, and she runs the show, and... It's another person I look up to. Zellner is an amazing person. Can't wait to meet her one of these days. Yes, he laughed a lot with me. We laughed about a lot of things. It was just a great time. I can't wait to go back. He's not... Uh, I, I guess I didn't ask him if he was surprised about the attention. But um, he's definitely taking it in with open arms. So um, if you want to write Stephen, please do. Because he definitely reads those letters. You know, I, I try to be a good voice for Steven, that's for sure. Yes, he, uh, he knows how great the documentary did. I don't know if he's surprised about it, though. He knows it's, it's changing the justice system. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. I'm glad you wrote to him. That means a lot. What, what I'll be doing on my next uh, visit, I'm um, just learning more about Stephen and uh, how he operates and his, his plans in life. Um, well, I mean, I'm not going to say Stephen's um, in for his lawyers, but it's kind of, you know, it's kind of an iffy one. A lot of people admire these people. This is kind of my opinion. A lot of the people admire Dean Strang and Jerry Buting. But my question is, why didn't they do the stuff that Zellner's doing right now? It's just, you know, why didn't they look into the phone record? Maybe some of those DNA tests weren't around, but... There's some, there's, I just feel like there's some stuff that they could have did, you know. Great. It looks, from the outside looking in, it looks like they did a fantastic job. They did everything they could. But, um, did they? Did they really? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't despise the, the men. They, uh, they seem like good guys, so... Um, I'm sure. I'm sure a party could be organized uh, when he's when he's released. I'll talk to him. Also with the family as well. We'll figure something out. Who am I to Stephen? I am Stephen's friend, and I am a huge advocate for Stephen Avery. That's who I am. I would say anyone who supports Stephen Avery and has believed in Stephen Avery would be invited to that party. Just have Venice in there, and I'm sure he'll be happy. <laughs> He does like that. Twenty two years old. Sounds good, Carla. I'm not exact sh exactly sure what his next court date is. I know that the last one was on the 11th, and it was given an ex extension. Um, I'm not sure where they put the net, um, schedule the next one. I'll have to look into that.
Well, I visited Stephen for the first time today, but I uh, plan to visit him as much as possible. He only gets three visits a week, so... And then, um, no pictures today, Rick. Uh, he didn't fill out the paperwork in time, but Thursday for sure. Very optimistic today. Very confident. Very excited. Happy. Every positive word you can think of, Stephen is. How do I have time to be so involved? Um, I just make my life of it. It, um, it means a lot to me. Uh, I'm I'm walking on free ground every day. I wake up in a free world, if you consider it free. I mean, I don't know if it's the land of the free anymore, the way things have gone. But all in general, I'm I'm not confined behind bars every day. What Stephen Avery is for the last 30 years. And I can't fathom that or accept that for doing something he, uh, he didn't even, he didn't do it. And he's, he's serving time for it. It doesn't make any sense. And it makes me sick. And I'm not going to stand for it. And I'm going to put all my time and effort every day to helping him. And now we're working together on it. So he already has Zellner. I mean, train's moving fast, man, it's walk. It's time. It's time to come forward. Otherwise, you're going to be exposed even more. Thank you, everyone, who has tuned in on this. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you're interested in on how the visit went with Stephen. I've not met Ryan Ferguson, but I have talked to his girlfriend, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing some stuff together. Um, getting the voice out there together, maybe meeting Ryan as well. I think everyone who goes through this, um, this situation should be uh, tied together in some way because they've been through it all. Of course there's going to be a lawsuit. Of course. Why Why wasn't the roommate or the ex-boyfriend questioned? Uh, that's a really, really good question because if you see any other um, murder of a woman, or anybody for that matter, they always look to the spouse or husband or wife or anyone that's very close to them first and they, they interrogate them or they question them. But for some odd reason, they didn't question either of the men in this particular case, and that's not a coincidence. <coughs> yes, he does know about, he knows about both protests in April. He knows about the protest in London on April 2nd, and he knows about the protest that um, Stephen Avery Project has uh, scheduled for um, outside the NIU Conference Center to protest the two men that uh, interrogated Stephen and Brendan, the ones who coerced Brendan into a false confession. These men are being looked at as they did a great job. <laughs> no, absolutely not. We won't stand for that. You're right, there's not enough money in the whole world to make up for that lost time. Exactly. They don't care who really killed Teresa. It doesn't matter to them. They just needed a conviction. They needed to stop that first initial lawsuit from being won and stop those two officers from being convicted of their corrupt acts in the first place. But now, there's going to be nowhere for them to hide. They're going to be um, definitely exposed even more than the documentary already did. And I can't say for sure if they're going to get convicted of any kind of crime or anything like that, or if justice will be served for those officers. Because in our society, we let officers get away with just about anything. So I can't tell you if they're going to or not, but, you know, I really do hope. What will 
I do when this is all over. Um, definitely um, continue uh, my friendship with Steven and his family. And uh, hopefully um, advocating for him further and making sure things are going good for him. Because I, I, I care about the Avery family. But I also want to um, continue to help people who have been wrongfully convicted and um, help out anyone who needs that, um, that voice out there. Definitely review a lot of cases and stuff like that and just keep it going. Uh, that would be amazing to help Kathleen in the future, but that's definitely a stretch. I mean, that's a dream. <laughs> but any way I can help future um, people who need help, I would love to. I want to I keep this going. You know, um, I have thought about Ryan Ferguson's friend. That would be uh, that'd be an interesting case to look into. When this is all said and done with, maybe that'll be my next move. I'm not sure. Anyone who really needs help, anyone who is sitting in a prison cell for something they didn't do, and you can honestly break it down and then you can see facts that prove that they're innocent and show that the wrong, the wrong people were investigated steps were taken to prove their innocence or guilt, or if they just didn't have a fair trial in general. You know, I, I just don't have a, um, a, a huge law background as like a lawyer, so I just don't know what I could do, but it's, um, you know, this, every, the, the fact that there's innocence innocent people sitting in prison and the fact that there's innocent people who may have been executed in our justice system, it, it makes me sick and it, it reminds me not to take life and freedom for granted. I, I do. I really think the people. There's a lot of people in Manitowoc that are in denial and cannot accept that officers who are supposed to be protecting them, serving them, you know, having to supposed to be having honest and true values, did not, and that they framed a man and put him in prison, not once but twice for crimes he didn't commit. A lot of people don't want to accept that. That their heroes of their county are corrupt people, but they're going to have to accept it sooner or later. Because it's getting to the point where you can't hide from it anymore. If it already hasn't, they're going to be exposed more. Um, no one has been rude to me directly through this all. I mean, obviously you get people on the page that uh, have negative, um, negative thoughts towards Stephen or Brendan or his family. Um, but I just block those people. They're not important. Um... They're in denial as well, and just can't let those people dictate how you feel or think. I think Stephen realizes uh, he's he's in the spotlight. He knows that he has like the number one search name on Google. We talked about that and laughed. I believe the hearts are just, I, uh, you just click the screen and it basically says you like what you're watching. That's all that is. Not afraid for my safety, if that's what you asked. I believe he knows what Google is, yeah. I spoke with Daniel Luke a little bit, but not too much. <clears throat> yeah.
Yes, I always watch my back. Trust me. I have not spoken with anyone in uh, Teresa's family. Um, I don't believe they would speak to me, honestly. I wouldn't be against speaking to them. For their loss, I mean, Teresa is the victim here. So if you, if you agree with me and we all say that Teresa is a victim, then we should definitely find the one, the one person who killed her is uh, letting him roam around. That's not justice. Putting Stephen Avery in prison for the rest of his life for another crime he didn't commit, that's not justice. That is a huge failure. We failed. America failed. We need to fix it. Clue TV. Um, if you would like to speak with me, uh, definitely message me and we can talk. Anything to get Stephen's uh, voice out there, I will do it every time. I will sit and have a phone call with a supporter on hours on hours just, just to give Stephen more exposure. Clue TV, do you have a Facebook page? Is that how you would like me to check you guys out? Or? I hope you guys aren't losing connection. Made a Facebook page um, immediately after the documentary, and that's kind of how this whole thing blew up for the Stephen Avery Project page and getting to meet the family, stuff like that. Um, but when I was younger, I originally watched the trial, and it disgusted me then, but I couldn't uh, do anything. Social media um, wasn't an impact in our society, and there wasn't a following. But thank goodness for the documentary. It gave me the fuel to do this. Um, you know, it's hard to, I don't know if Steven knows who did it or not. He's an innocent man and had nothing to do with it, so no one really knows who did it for sure. Except Kathleen, because she says she has the evidence. Yeah, I was very young. But I was watching that whole entire trial, and I knew being so young and just knowing something's wrong, being young and just knowing and feeling it through my whole body that something was wrong, how did a whole jury not feel that way? How did a judge not feel that way? You know, it, it goes on forever. Nobody thinks I'm, uh, I'm crazy. My friends and family support me, 100%. Everybody was corrupt. The judge was corrupt. The prosecutor was corrupt. The jurors were corrupt. The police were corrupt. The lab technicians were corrupt. It goes on and it goes on and on and on and on. It's the most corrupt case I've ever seen. It's disgusting. Alright guys, I think I should be heading home soon here. I just stopped to kind of get this um, periscope to you guys.
I appreciate everyone who has tuned into this Periscope. You guys have been great lately tuning in. The numbers have been good. Not in the thousand marks like uh, it was when I was on the property or anything, but it is a Monday, and I understand. Um, the, um, just a reminder, the Periscope videos, after I record them, they should be available for 24 hours after I record them. If not, I'll make sure I have to turn that setting on. Um, so, if you miss it, you can watch it again. Um, remember, the Stephen Avery Project page, of course, is um, definitely um, a great page to come to to support Stephen and Brendan. Um, I try to have new news on there as much as possible. Um, yes, I'll give you a call later, Carla. And um, just stay in touch. Um, yeah, if you don't have Facebook, just look to Periscope. Um, it's a great way. Okay, guys. Enjoy the rest of your nights, and thank you for your time. I appreciate all of you. Much love for every one of you, and I know Stephen and Brenton appreciate all of you as well. It's, it's very obvious that they do, and they expect...